Let's uh, try to get this going here. Let's try to get this going. All right, I'm gonna go IG. See if we can get this looking good too. Hey everybody on YouTube, give me two seconds. We're gonna rock and roll here. All right, we're live. We're talking about all things marketing and getting customers and we're gonna be answering a whole bunch of questions today. So I'm new to this. Hope you guys go easy on me and uh, we'll have some fun with this today. So uh, if you guys are jumping in here, let me know where you guys are from. Let me know where you guys are at. If I'm looking this way on YouTube, it's because we got IGTV, and IGTV, Instagram Live. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Uh, you guys, show some heart, show some love, shoot the thumbs up, the likes, whatever you guys got. All right, let's talk about getting customers. Uh, we got a busy time of year going on here into spring. We're going to be rocking and rolling here, uh, head out the doors in just a few weeks before you guys know it. Um, before we jump into this whole uh, live stream, we're dual casting on Instagram and YouTube. You guys can see the fancy banner behind us. Uh, this whole uh, live streams on Sunday nights at seven. We're going to try to keep this going on Sundays at seven. Uh, it's brought to you by Launchpreneur Academy and the Brian Ten Code, right? Because you got to fund the hobby somehow. So thank you to all of you guys that have used uh, any of the codes anywhere. Also, if you guys want to get on anything at launchpreneuracademy.com, we're going to do live stream. Uh, I think promo code live stream or live stream 10, whatever I set it up as. We'll save you 10% on Launchpreneur Academy, including postcards, the whole ball of wax, everything. All right, so there you go. So if you guys want to support the live stream, the best way to do it, launchpreneuracademy.com. What's up, Christian from CNI? Kiss my grass. How we doing? Colin Hayek. And then, wow, look at everybody joining in on the YouTubes. B&B, Ashton Temple, Timothy Dillon. All right, if you guys got questions, leave them in the comments down below. We're live streaming. Brian's Law Maintenance is live streaming. Holy cow. I uh, never thought I would live stream in 100 years. All right. So talking about getting customers and marketing, uh, postcards, yard signs, that's what I want to talk about tonight. Uh, pretty much everybody's gearing up for spring. Uh, tonight after the live stream, after bath time with my daughter, we got to clean her up and get her ready for bed. Uh, I got to go put about five more commercial pids together that I was supposed to do Friday night and Saturday night. Didn't get to those just yet, but I want to get them in. I want to get them in early so we can get that new commercial work. All right, guys, starting my company this year, best advice to obtain customers. If you guys got some suggestions too, leave them in the comments. I'm going to read these real time. Also, Instagram, I'm going to be reading from there as well. All right, best way to get customers, uh, for me personally, it's postcards, yard signs, uh, our vehicle trailer wrap. Uh, that's been a great way to get customers. And then also word of mouth or customer referral programs. All right. So uh, I love door hangers and I love flyers. I think they work great. Uh, but my bread and butter is always postcards. It's kind of like chum in the water. Uh, once the weather breaks, we usually pass those out. For us up here in Michigan, uh, I don't say like a certain date because, excuse me, it can fluctuate, right? It can be first week of March. It can be first week of April. Uh, for me, it's when the weather breaks. Uh, should we start hanging out door hangers just yet from Ben Fields? Uh, not yet. Again, when the weather breaks. Is my truck still running good after thousands of pounds of machines with the trailer? Yes, truck's running great. Let's talk about marketing and getting customers. All right, uh, another question I get a lot is yard signs. I'm a big fan of yard signs. Some people poo-poo on the bandit signs or the yard signs. For me personally, I love them. Uh, you can get 25 made up for you know a couple hundred bucks. You can get some one-sided one colors made up, like 100 of them for 100 bucks with like UZ Marketing. Uh, I think we're going to have a link with those guys here very soon. Uh Everybody's jumping in on IGTV. We've got about 100, 150 people joining there. And I don't know how many on YouTube. I don't know how this works. Hey, a super chat, 10 bucks. Shout out to uh, Justin Frame. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate that. It's the most money we've made on YouTube so far. <laughs> That's funny. When do we start cutting grass? Uh, usually for us, it's not until about mid to late April. Uh, actually, my agreements that are going out is for April. I think it was 17th or 18th this year. That's a Monday. So we're going to probably start the third week of April. And we're going to rock and roll. By the way, YouTube, I'm looking this way. I got IG, IG. I'm looking this way. I got YouTube. All right. What commercial mower do we recommend for someone starting out? Uh, the best mower you can afford at the time, uh, but get something that's commercial grade, even entry commercial grade. All right. Let's keep talking about customers and marketing. One thing I want to talk about was getting commercial clients. I'm getting a lot of questions. How do you get to the decision maker? Uh, so I have a podcast coming out tomorrow morning, 10 tips to uh, smoke your commercial bidding this year. One thing that I really wanted to stress was when you try to reach out to a commercial uh, building, office, uh, industrial park, just a commercial client, apartment complex, uh, it could be a Home Depot, right? There's the decision maker. We always talk about that. So when you talk to them, uh, it's the first person you, you meet or talk to you might not be the decision maker, right? You got to dig. So 
it's okay to ask, hey, uh, is this the person that makes the decision or handles the contract? Yes or no. And usually they'll refer you to the person who is. Now, a couple of ways to get a hold of that person. You can leave that person a voicemail if you get transferred over. Uh, you can Maybe that person picks up. Uh, don't spend your whole time selling that person on how to go with you, right? Spend that time on saying, hey, are you open-minded to a commercial bid? If so, get their email and then uh, have uh, your proposal ready to go in a couple of days uh, to link up with them and get that bid back to them. Uh, if you get their voicemail, just say, hey, Nicole, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance, or whatever your company's name is. Uh, hey, hope you're doing well. Just curious if you guys are open for commercial bids for the uh, apartment complexes or whatever at uh, you know Green Meadows Apartments. Uh, if you guys are, my email is blank. Shoot me an email back and I'll get a hold of you. Usually those people will not call you back, but 10, 15 minutes later, the office manager will give you an email and say, yeah, sure, we're open for bids. Send us something. And that's your end. Okay. And of course, you guys can always go door to door. It's okay. Uh, every building says no solicitation, but it's okay to walk in there, drop off a couple of postcards, you know, on somebody's desk or at the front door and just say, hey, just want to drop this off. Don't sell them, you know. But if they say, hey, what's this for? Say, oh, we run a lawn and landscaping company. And, you know, we're just uh, looking to get our name out there a little bit more. And then try to walk away, right? Don't just sit there and start selling. But if the lady stops, the guy stops and says, whoa, 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 we need some bids. We need to get this property looking good. Uh, there, now you got an in and you can say, do you want me to bid this now? Anybody available to walk the property or do you guys want me to just prepare something and do you have a card for me to email the proposal to? All right, so those are my quick tips. How's that for a product plug, right? Cycle CPA. You guys need a bookkeeper, there you go. <laughs> so, all right, really quick. Launchpreneur Academy is sponsoring the live stream. Promo code live stream, or I think it's live stream 10. 10% off everything off the website. Contracts, rate increase letters, residential contracts, whatever you guys need. You guys see the Brian Stein code over the shoulder. Thank you for supporting what we do because it takes a lot of time and energy and the cameras and the gear and all this mess. It takes a lot of uh, effort to put this together. So if you guys ever use a Brian Stein code, uh, thank you. And also Launchpreneur Academy, it's on sale for the rest of the night, 10% off. Outdoor Project Podcast. Uh, what's up, guys? That's uh, really, really kind of you guys. 10 bucks. Um, $20 now. That is a new record for how much we've made in a day on YouTube. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to look down here and also try to look over here a little bit. Uh, if you guys have some questions, leave them down below. We're doing uh, the best we can to answer all these here. The key to retaining customers is consistency from Hammer Time Woodworks. I agree. Yard signs work great. The Elite LLP. I agree. Uh, way to crush, crush it for February. Thanks, Connor Smith. We did like 33 grand in snow work uh, in the last couple of weeks, and we still have to build out another six or seven grand uh, from this last two week period. Bro, like that's crazy. So, anybody who says we're an actor, <laughs> hey, actors make good money though. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, radio station does an auction every Saturday. It doesn't cost me anything to advertise. Zane, that's a pretty cool thing. I've never considered radio, um, it's a pretty broad. Uh, marketing channel. So it's not very specific. Like, But if you have a, maybe a smaller uh, town, that might be the way to go. And if that's the case, maybe get some good pricing on those ads too. What is the biggest struggle a 17-year-old would face? I don't know. That's a good question. I'd say people probably taking you serious and probably not trying to chop you down on your price. Amen. All right. If you guys got comments, leave them down on YouTube over here. Just want to hang out with you guys for a little bit tonight. We're going to start doing live streams every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. We got about 75 people here joining us on IG as well. Shout out to everybody. Actors make good money. <laughs> I guess, man. Somebody forgot to leave a couple zeros on my check for my last YouTube check. You know what I'm saying? Outdoor project podcast, swag, hoodies, hats. Guys love good swag. And if it's worn around town, et cetera. I agree. That's a great one. Uh, do I have a John Deere opinion on John Deere? I do not. We're talking all things marketing customers tonight. We'll talk maybe equipment next week. All right. Um, I know you say you do subdivision style homes. How big are the lawns? Uh, they're quarter acre lots. Take us about 20, 25 minutes by yourself. Uh, 10, 15 uh, with you guys. Uh, the code Burton Dell Sid Jr. is promo code live stream, all one word, or maybe it's live stream 10. I should fact check myself. 10% off everything off of Launchpreneur Academy, including all the contracts and all the postcard templates. And a lot of you guys have been picking those up to go to uh, postcard mania to get your marketing campaigns figured out. I'm so proud of so many of you guys listening in. Uh, you guys are getting your marketing figured out in January and February this year and not in March, April, and May. Uh, I couldn't be more happy with all you entrepreneurs out there. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're, we're all coming 
uh, swing in uh, to make this our best year ever. All right, uh, let's talk about more content with talking about getting customers and marketing. Um, here's a quick little poll. I don't know if I can do a poll real time, but do you guys like door hangers, flyers, postcards, or yard signs? Which one do you guys usually throw down for and invest for your company? Uh, I use postcards and uh, yard signs personally. And that seems to be the uh, ticket for us as well as like all the marketing that we're doing around town with the trailer and word of mouth. All right, IG, how we doing? Uh, how is our snow season looking this year from Caleb Supreme Cut Yard? It's been a pretty good uh, winter actually. Uh, I would love to tally that up. We're definitely way up compared to last year. I think 14 snow events and uh, I'm really, really thankful for that. All right, let's go back to YouTube. Uh, greetings from Long Island. Uh, do we have any suggestions on marketing with little money? Ford's lawn service. I think the residential flyer uh, is, a, is a great way to go. We have the template for like seven bucks. I'm not seriously just trying to plug it on Launchpreneur Academy. It's, it's seven bucks. I, I break even on that one for the transaction fees. Uh, that flyer is what I use to get 20 to 30,000 hours worth of business 15 years ago when I first got started my lawn care company. So a little seven cent, 10 cent flyer. We have the uh, template at launchpreneuracademy.com. You can make your own. Um, get it with black ink, you know, make it on Word or pages, black ink, and then lime green paper. It's like 10 cents for a copy. Use uh, some rewards coupons or uh, whatnot from, you know, Staple or Office Depot, and you can get it made for a seven to 10 cents a flyer. You get a thousand, 2,000 of them made up. Hand bill, which means you put it on the mailbox or in the door, never in the mailbox, right? We all know that. And that's just as effective as a postcard. I think postcards are going to be more effective. They scream professionalism, uh, but there's nothing wrong with a seven cent, 10 cent flyer. I think the secret is just do it. Get the word out. All right. So uh, I got about 75 people out there watching on IG. Uh, if you guys want a thumbs up or wave or heart or whatever, I have no idea, man. Who cares? All right. It uh, looks like the poll is coming from wrap vehicles, yard signs, postcards, Door hangers, Zane Robinson, he says, door hangers work great for me. I tend to get some FaceTime with the customer and that way I can make a quick sales pitch. I like that. You know, a lot of times we pass out postcards and flyers after about two, three in the afternoon. A lot of folks are getting home or pass them out on Saturday or believe it or not, Sunday. And a lot of people are, you know, washing out the, uh, the, the driveway or they're cleaning the garage out or washing the car down. And it's totally uh, a fun time because you get to pass out those postcards and usually the guy, you know, the alpha dude will walk down the driveway, rip it out of your hand. What's this? And you go, oh, we're landscapers. And he goes, oh, you know, I've been thinking about uh, redoing my mulch beds or hiring a service. And it's a fun conversation. And before you start giving him the pick, say, hey, man, I love your car, uh, a Toyota Tundra. Like, that's a cool car or Cadillac CTS, man, sweet car. Um, oh, you went to Michigan State because you see a little uh, Michigan State mailbox or something like that. Like, start earning that instant rapport building a friendship, building a relationship out of that person, right? All right. Uh, rules and regulations for yard signs. <laughs> I don't know on that one, man. Uh, every city uh, hates them. You know, here's my rule. Uh, what I've noticed is 12 by 18 signs work the best. Uh, if you get anything bigger than that, the city is going to yank them and take them uh, immediately. My other quick tip is, <laughs> and Brian's all made instance say this, put them out at Friday uh, about 9 or 10 a.m. or maybe 4 p.m., because most government folks work uh, four tens Monday through Thursday. So they're not checking your yard signs Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> That's a little life hack right there. All right. Look at this. Cycle CPA, promo code Brian, save you 200 bucks when you sign up for a good bookkeeper. I make fun of it, but um, at the same point, they're great. We're going to do an IG live uh, Thursday night at seven with Carla. Uh, it's going to be awesome. All right. Uh, here's what I want to do really quick. I'm going to read through your comments. You guys got to engage, man. Help me out here. Um, roll call. Where are you guys all from? I'm always surprised at how far and wide like you guys watch from all over the country. Uh, shoot a comment down below. Give me uh, your uh, where, where your city is and your state. Let me know where you guys are from. By the way, next week, we're going to do another IG Live, 7 p.m., uh, YouTube Live as well, 7 p.m., and we're going to give away a Red Max what is it? 8560 leaf blower. All right. 8560 leaf blower at 600 bucks. They sent me an extra one to give away. I've been sandbagging on that one. Uh, so next week, don't forget and don't miss 7 p.m. live stream. Again, we'll talk about all things equipment, trailers, blowers, whatever you guys want to talk about. All right. Where are you guys from? Uh, if you need a new CPA, check out Carla. 
and Cycle CPA. Mention us, Brian, you'll save 200 bucks. All right, roll call. Where are you guys from? I'm going through the comments here. How will we deal with the extreme gas prices predicted? Uh, if inflation and all that mess and everybody's raising their prices 7 to 10%, my suggestion would be skate to where the puck is going, Wayne Gretzky style. And two options. One, leave room in your contracts for surcharges and price increases. Or number two, if you were going to raise your prices 7 to 10%, raise them 10 to 15%, hedge against what we all know is going to happen, uh, most likely calamity. And that's not uh, a good thing, right? I'm not trying to make fun of that. Uh, but if you were going to go up two bucks a week, go up three or four. And when gas prices do go over $4 a gallon here, probably by May, June, July, you'll already be ahead of the curve, right? Wayne Gretzky said uh, he was one of the best hockey players ever. And everybody said, how'd you always uh, get the highest scoring and all that other mess? And he said, I always skated to where the puck was going to go, not where it was at. Jay Prentice, 12%. Yep, there you go. All right. Um, appreciate you guys. Nova Scotia. Hen Penstead, Maryland. I probably butchered that. <laughs> uh, New Jersey, Nashville, Tennessee, Vivido, Frank, uh, Long Island, <laughs> Vito, <laughs> Benfield, Oxford, Pennsylvania, South Dakota. Good evening, Brian. Brandon Carpenter. Hey, Brandon. How you doing? I hope you're doing well, brother. Trust you're doing well. Uh, Port Orange, Florida. Man, I'll tell you what. You guys got it going on in Florida. I love Florida. Uh, here we go. Uh, Nova Scotia. Wow. Two people from Nova Scotia. What time is it in Nova Scotia? Is that by Denmark IG? You guys always follow the podcast almost better than anybody. Denmark, <laughs> uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, Princeton, Mil Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Is Milwaukee tool actually from Milwaukee? Uh, somebody fact check me on that one. Would you Durham, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte's beautiful, man. Uh, Lake Norman area. Uh, that's that's money down there. Uh, NASCAR country, right? Uh, Nashville, Clinton Township, Michigan. Hey, there you go. Hey, are you coming to the MGIA show on Tuesday? I will be there 10 to 4. And then after that, uh, I will go to Buffalo Wild Wings and do a little meetup, hang out. If anybody wants to come hang out with me, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you. Uh, how do we feel about battery equipment? We'll save that for next week. But all right, let's keep talking about customers and getting more customers and marketing. If you guys got comments on YouTube, leave them down below. If you got them on IG, uh, let me know. Uh, we got Philly Burbs, Saginaw, Oregon, Disney World, Yard Pirate. <laughs> Coming down to Orlando in a couple weeks, man. All right, talking about uh, customer referral programs. One thing too, if you guys are looking to build route density, try some customer referral programs and let your customer know that you have a customer referral program. Anytime you sign up a customer after the whole song and dance or pitch, make sure you let them know, hey, by the way, thanks for signing up with us. If your neighbor wants to sign up with us, we give you two free cuts after they sign up for a full month, right? Incentivize them. So a quick tip, if your prices are going up and your rates are going up, it's okay to say, hey, if you want to save 10% on your lawn care bill this year, uh, refer one customer to neighbor, right? Because think about it. They spend 900 bucks with your lawn maintenance company for 20, 30 mows, whatever it is, and they refer their neighbor Bill, and Bill's weekly cut is $40 or $45, and you give the person referred him two free cuts, your new customer, you save that guy $90. You saved him 10% out of his bill. So if anybody's complaining, oh, the prices went up 10%, hey, no problem, I got a solution for you. Refer me your neighbor that has lawn stripes anyway, get me that guy, you have a better chance of bringing him over to my company than I do because he's a cold prospect, right? And I'll save you 10% on your lawn care bill. Get creative. That's the best part about doing all this. You can get creative and do whatever you want. With aerations, I do the same thing. Little little plug for aeration season. Uh, anytime we sign somebody up for an aeration for let's say 100 bucks, 125 bucks, we offer a 10 or $20 discount. I think it's $10 discount for anybody they sign up. That's an immediate neighbor, neighbor, left side, right side, or across the street, right? So that way, if they get me one, two, three people, and there's four of them right there on a little cul-de-sac, it's $400 of revenue. Well, I give the one guy you know, $30 off for referring his three neighbors, and I make $360, $370 in an hour and a half versus just being there for a half hour because of the shuttle time and the drive time and all that other mess, right? All right, so customer referral po programs work. I did that with a customer last year. We got three extra iterations out of him, including him, and that was real talk, like $400 in probably about an hour and a half with my stand on the air radio, okay? And I know you guys probably make more money. That's cool too. <laughs> but to your boy here, uh, 
I'll take that 350 bucks all day long, right? All right, you guys are having a great time in the comments, man. Thank you for all the love. Um, I don't know how many people are on here, but man, you guys are blowing it up. Um, if you guys haven't thumbs up the video uh, or the IGTV or the IG over here, uh, Instagram Live, uh, if you guys can thumbs up or heart or whatever. All right, really quick, uh, the live streams, are going to do 7 p.m. Sunday night uh, for one hour Eastern time. And they're brought to you guys by Launchpreneur Academy. So you guys can see the logos and a little banner we got made up. Um, promo code live stream, or maybe it's live stream 10, saves 10% at launchpreneuracademy.com. It saves it on everything, okay? Usually the 10% off code doesn't work on the contracts and the postcards or the bundles. Tonight, it works out on everything. So if you guys need rate increase letters, long care contracts, uh, postcard designs, or you wanna look at the bundles, which are already 20, 30% off, they're 10% more, all right? So promo code live stream or live stream 10. Uh, and I just wanna say thank you guys for, uh, excuse me, supporting Entrepreneur Academy. That's the bread and butter. If you think we make YouTube millions, <laughs> not so much. Uh, and we're trying to build a house this year and buy a truck, amen? <laughs> so, all right, Matt, uh, Buhajir, door hangers on the same block as current customers to build route density. That is a solid tip. A lot of folks call that uh, clover marketing. So you do the two neighbors to the side, in the three across the street. Great way to build route density. By the way, if your guys get done, teach them to go next door and knock on the door and say, hey, we're a lawn care service. Give them your postcard. Don't let them do all the talking. They don't know how to sell. But if they wrap up early, tell your guy, hey, go fly or five homes really quick and just leave it in the door hanger or on the mailbox, okay? Great way to build route density. Should I get rid of clients in my own neighborhood since I don't have my license yet? I don't know, Ben, that's up to you. Uh, I don't do any work for any of my neighbors. I never will, because uh, the one time that they are behind on payment, it's gonna make it awkward, and you're gonna be there for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And so don't do work for your neighbors, my humble opinion. Uh, all right, where else are you guys from? Ada, Oklahoma, Buckhead Ridge, sounds good to me. All right, uh, if you guys got questions about getting customers or marketing, leave them in the comments. IG, I'm coming to you here in a quick second. If you got some questions, let me know. I call them five rounds. All right, Treasure Coast Lawn Pros, I like that, good tip. All right, Jackson City, Tennessee. We're gonna come to Tennessee here in about six months, not even, for Together in the Trades. Super excited about that. Hamilton, Ontario from Van Green Lawn Care. Kyle the Grass Guy, OKC. All right, Rutledge Lawn Care. If I have a house and no soliciting neighborhood, how do I market to them? It's a great question. A couple options you have, you gotta get creative. Number one, yard sign at the entrance, right? And I'm sure they're not gonna like that. So out of the entrance where it tees off and it kind of dead ends, right? Cause you gotta go left or right, put the yard sign across the street. <laughs> Number two, do a small EDDM campaign or a business select campaign to market and mail to them. You're just going to have to do it old school, uh, spend some money and market that way. Number three, uh, you can see if you can get a hold of the HOA president uh, through even your customer, see if there's an HOA Facebook page, right? That's a great way to do it and say, hey, if you're willing to make a post in the uh, HOA Facebook page for me, uh, send me a screenshot so I can confirm and I'll give you a one free cut or two free cuts for making that post. So that way your customer Austin says, Hey guys, uh, if anybody needs lawn service in here, I've seen some people rumble in the past about not finding somebody reliable. I use my guy, Todd. Todd's great. Um, here's Todd's number. If you need him, give him a shot. He does a great job at my lawn. How about that? Right. And so when you see that screenshot or when you see that post and they, and they take a screenshot, they send it to you, uh, give them a free cut or two free cuts or half off their next aeration. Okay. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Forever Green Landscaping, Upstate New York. Thanks, man. Thanks for the support. Appreciate you big time. All right, is this fun? You guys getting some value out of this? Uh, all day long this year, I'm trying to just add value to you guys, grow this thing. Let's make some money. Um, what site do you use for our door hangers? All of our postcards, all of our door hangers, any marketing material we get done at Postcard Mania. Uh, postcardmania.com slash Brian. All of our packages, all of our pricing, all right? They're amazing. What's the best way to get more mulch clients? Uh, one, market to your existing customers that you offer the mulch service, because I bet you 30% of them don't even know you offer mulch. And then number two, get a specific postcard mailer campaign done and pass out mulch, uh, mulch postcards. We have literally a mulch postcard design at launchpreneuracademy.com, another plug. 
Uh, but it's the truth because here's why. Me personally, I'm trying to get more aerations and overseeds. And so I have a 10,000 postcard mailer going out in April. And then again in the fall, uh, the postcard is the aeration and overseed postcard at launchpreneuracademy.com. I'm, I'm not here to sell you guys on it. I'm using my own stuff. This is what we do to make money. And so same thing if you want a mulch specific postcard and do a mulch specific mailer or just handbill, that's fine too. Get 2,500 of them made up, pass out a thousand per year, you know, and um, just keep them on stash. Uh, we have a, a rack in my garage with summer postcards, spring postcards, winter postcards, leaf postcards. And one day my goal is to have, you know, an abundance of aerations, uh, mulch, so on and so forth, a couple other postcards. Okay. This is helping you guys out. Give me some uh, heck yes if this is helping you guys out in the comments. Come down to Saint Port, Port St. Lucie. I'm not sure where that is. If it's Florida, I'm in. Did I put the truck in my name or the business name? It'll be in the truck's name. Um, I think I still probably have to personally guarantee it, you know, even on my pay grade, which is about $12 a year. <laughs> Brian, what's up with the Lions? Uh, I don't I don't know what that is, man. Um, God bless them. Roma from Ukraine. Hey, hey shout out to Ukraine, man. Uh, I hope you guys are safe. I, 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 I'm not a geopolitical scholar, but all the civilians and people there, man, I hope you guys are safe. Okay, we'll pray for you. Um, do I do any tree pruning? I do not. What's up, IG? How we doing? Uh, if you guys want to wave or show some hearts or some love, man, let me know. If you guys got questions, it's kind of quiet over here right now. 70 of you just hanging out. All right. If you have a question, I haven't answered it just yet. Leave it again in the comments. I'm going to do my best. I'm things are kind of going pretty quick over here. All right. Uh, snow removal is going great. Do you use Send Gym? Uh, I don't personally use Send Gym right now. Uh, we've used them in the past. Uh, great service. A little pricey for for what it is for my company, so I don't personally use it. Uh, I'm not using it correctly, if you will. Uh, an EDDM or a business select campaign is a little bit more um, uh, cost effective for for my company, but still a great service. If you're a pool guy or a roofer, uh, Send Gym could be the way to go. Brian, I'm getting to the point to go full time right now. How do you know when to do it? Uh, I actually have a couple YouTube videos on that and a podcast. Um, that's a tough question. I don't want to give out uh, simple advice here, but get your ducks in a row, get a plan, get on the same wavelength and page with your spouse. Um, make sure that you're as much out of debt as possible. The business is as funded as possible. You have some savings as possible. Uh, really know your numbers, what you're making, what you're not making. Um, it's okay to work an extra year. To, to get the boat closer to the dock, um, but everybody's different. So I always say, be very, very cautious. But when you do it, you better work like hell to make sure that you never have to go back, okay? So this 40 hour week stuff, I don't know where people are working 40 hours. I, I haven't worked 40 hours since I was 15. All right, um, if you guys got questions, leave them in the comments. I'm looking at you guys, watching you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. What hourly rate do we recommend charging? Uh, hammer time. What do you mean specifically? Let me ask you guys, what are you trying to make per hour with your company? Leave me uh, some comments here. What's your guys' hourly rate? Are you at 60 bucks an hour, 75 bucks an hour? What are you guys trying to get per man per hour? $70, $90 per hour? Uh, this year, we're like $74 uh, a man hour. I'll take that. That's not bad. little plug again for Cycle CPA. Shout out to Carla and these guys. If you need a good bookkeeper, I'm not just plugging it to plug it. I got my juice, but telling you straight up, get a good bookkeeper, all right? All right. <clears throat> All right. IG clearing lawn and snow, 80 a man hour, DS lawn and landscape, 150 per man hour. I'm coming to work for you. <laughs> Sealy seasonal services, 80 plus. Uh, Thistle and wood lawn care, 85. Nicholas Xavier, 78. If you guys got them, leave them. Let's go. Garrett Grave, 80 to $100 an hour. What's up, Mitchell Funder? Aaron Dykema, $85 an hour. Nurse lawn care, $75 an hour. Cycle CPA has a free webinar on the 9th. They do. Great call there. I think Joe's leading that one. I'm not sure, uh, but we will see you there. All right, rich guy, when you come to North Carolina, I don't know who the rich guy is, bro, but it ain't me. <laughs> not after I paid my taxes, man. I'm telling you what. Uh, some when's the house going to get made uh, or built? Uh, we're hoping June, July, August. Okay. I got a lot of hustling to do. I got another um, lot of money to make. All right. You guys are awesome, man. Seriously, I'm having a great time on the live stream. Uh, it's a couple hundred people here all at once. It's hard to kind of manage all by yourself. I can see how people get lost doing this. Um, how much would you charge for a two-acre building for snow removal? I'm at $175 per base grate per acre. Uh, so times two if it's two acres. 
And then we have a tiered system for snow, uh, one to three, three to five, five to seven, seven point one above is per inch. All of our base rates and prices are in our contracts at launchpreneuracademy.com. When am I coming to the West Coast? I don't know. Um, where are you at in the West Coast? We have people following from the West Coast, like California, LA. That's pretty dope. Um, I don't know. That'd be a good. Uh, that'd be a. I don't know what's in, what's over in California, you know, or uh, Oregon or Washington State. All right, I have the whole ball of wax, and I've listened to everything. We the Lawn Care People LLC. There you go. Awesome. Thanks for the support, man. I really do appreciate that. Um, the whole ball of wax is huge. It's not just a plug to plug it. I'm telling you straight up, it's changing people's lives, especially those of you guys that are going all in and going full time. All right. Uh, Let's do 90 per man hour. Get a bunch of rates in here. 70s, uh, 75s, 100 per man hour. I like that. Uh, 160 per man hour on landscaping. Not too bad. It sounds like some uh, Andy Mulder money or some J squared outdoor money, you know? $75 an hour by yourself. I like it. 50, you cut solo. That's fair. 125 per man hour, 75, 70s. Those are pretty good rates. All right, guys. Thank you for the hearts and the love on IG. You guys are freaking awesome. All right, uh, let's keep it going here. If you guys got questions, leave them in the comments. Hope you guys are having a fun time doing this. Uh, we're looking to go 30 miles out specifically to focus on higher end subdivisions, Gomez Lawn Care. That's a great way to do it. Sometimes you have to just go where the money is. Um, <laughs> I'm a prime example of that. My first route was my trailer park that I grew up with, grew up with and in with my mom, obviously, right? When I was 19, 20 years old. So it wasn't a lot of wealth in the mobile home park. I had to spread my wings and go into the nicer subdivisions. Now, I'm not doing like the really nice subdivisions. My friend Mike Bedell, a lot of his clients are, they're doing okay. Uh, I don't think they're sweating a $5 rate increase. <laughs> so shout out to my boy Bedell. All right, I got a question for you. Um, talking about uh, marketing and postcards and yard signs, how many customers are you guys looking to get this year? Or what is your revenue uh, increase goal this year. How much revenue are you looking to increase this year with all those customers? For us, we're looking at about 50,000 bucks is my goal. Uh, that'll put us just over a quarter mil and I'll be really happy with that. We might break 300 this year. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty ambitious with what we got going on with snow this year. We're, we're trending in the right direction, uh, which is great growth for my company. We were up like 18% plus last year uh, and our net profit was up. Uh, I'm really, really happy. Like we're out there grinding just like you guys, all right? CK Lawn and Landscapes, an $80,000 increase. I like that. Uh, nurses Lawn Care, 70 customers. Uh, last year, he's hoping to get to 100 to 120. I like that. That's awesome. What are you guys looking to grow uh, for lawns or revenue? Matthew Hoover, 50 lawns last year. That's a great start. That's a that's a good fifty dollars to $100,000 year lawn and landscape business if you do it right. All right, looking to increase roughly 300 grand. Fourth gear, John Gear. Good Lord, increase 300 grand? I might come work for you. <laughs> All right, Gomez Long Care, 30K in the area we want to go. Austin with Ditch the Itch. What's up, Austin Douglas? I want to increase by 100 to 125 grand, which would get you in the 200 to 225 grand. That's actually a really good goal. And I think you're still a solo owner operator. Maybe you have another guy by now, Austin. I'm not sure. Uh, hope to catch up with you Tuesday. Uh, but you know what? Quarter million bucks solo with a uh, fertilizer or a, a specific service like uh, mosquitoes and poison ivy control, I could see that. And uh, your little dude deserves that. You deserve that, man. You can go get it. I'm loving uh, what I'm reading here. Uh, 150,000 is your personal revenue goal. Um, man, you guys are awesome. Uh, Yad, hi, Brian, all the way from the green grasses of Ireland. Ireland, I'm the most wanted man on my, Ire my island. You mean Ireland, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, that is my island. Name that movie. If you name that movie, I'll get you a free mug. All right, we'll get you a mug from Cycle CPA. <laughs> Here's a tip. He yells freedom in the movie. All right. How do I get HOAs? That's a great question. Number one, have a filled out Google My Business listing. Number two, figure out who the HOA president is. Anybody in the subdivision will know, okay, because they're part of the association and they're part of the Facebook group most likely. And then ask for that person's phone number or email, try to get a hold of them. And then simply getting a commercial client or a residential client or any customer really is, are you open to a bid? All right, that's it. Are you open to a lawn and landscaping bid? If they say yes, get them something in the next couple of days. If they say no, 
hey, no big deal. Appreciate the time. If things change, give me a shout. Love to have the opportunity to bid. That's it. The largest HOA I have, it's an anchor account. It's like 30, 40 grand a year worth of work. Uh, we've had it for, I don't know, five or six years now at least. Um, that account I had bid on for eight years straight and didn't get it. Eight years. There's one company did it for two years and another company did it for two years and another company went back and did it for two more years and another company for a year, another company for, it was ridiculous. And they all did spotty, shoddy work. And I just said to the HOA lady at the time, I said, Hey, are you done messing around with all that? Cause I've been knocking on your front door for like a, you know, a decade. Can I get a chance? Uh, she actually gave me the contract. Here's all the prices. I ran the numbers. It all kind of matched except for one or two things. We bumped those prices up. And we were able to get that contract. We've had it for five or six years now. Persistent and consistent effort, right? You guys hear that all the time on podcasts or motivational YouTube videos. That HOA has paid me, I don't know, 20, let's just say 25 grand times five years. That account's been worth $150,000 at least, right? Over the last five years. I'll take that persistent and consistent. So don't give up. Braveheart. <laughs> you guys nailed it. Uh, we, the lung care people, Brian, my name is John. My wife told me to tell you that I listen to you more than her. <laughs> That's funny right there. Um, for all of you guys that hear like the, make the ground shake, you know, you're watching your YouTube videos at 10 o'clock at night, keeping your wife up. <laughs> Stop doing that. She's going to kill you. All right. Um, quitting my job of, in 10, uh, of 10 years in California, moving to Georgia to start a landscaping business. Just want to say thank you for everything that you do and give to the lung care community. Daniel Peckman, you bet Daniel. Shout out to you, brother. Wish you all the best. Uh, be safe out there and hope you guys get it. All right, IG, you guys still with me? Hope you guys are doing well. Brian Braga is there. Hopefully I said his last name right, but uh, him and Jake. Uh, TW Landscaping, Ethan Bunt. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll take the whole ball of wax as my reward instead. <laughs> I don't know about that, but Sly, that's Sly. All right. Uh, do we have a bidding contract? We do. We have... Six brand new resources, a subcontractor agreement, uh, employee application form, uh, employee handbook, uh, landscaping bid form, a price uh, adjustment or a change order form, we call it. A uh, bunch of great stuff for landscaping that we have this year uh, at LaunchpreneurAcademy.com. All the landscapers out there, Launchpreneur Academy is going into overdrive this year for you guys, all right? Joseph Ireland, love the podcast. Thank you, sir. All right. What's a good profit margin to aim for when you hire employees? Um, your employees should be able to pay for themselves when you're hiring them out. So you got to figure out a man hour rate for your company, whether it's you or the employees, to make sure you have enough margin, A, to pay them, and B, to hit the profit margin that you're looking for, for that employee. Uh, I don't have a specific answer to that because every business is going to be different. Um, and plus, every employee's rate is different. You might pay your guys $25 an hour. Uh, you might pay them 15 an hour. Uh, you might want to make $30, $40 an hour off a guy. Uh, other people might want to make $100 off an, uh, per hour off a guy. It just really depends. All right. If you guys got questions, leave them down below. I'm doing my best to hang out with you guys, answer them all. Excuse me. 180 of you guys are on the live stream right now. Only 100 likes? <clears throat> you guys are better than that. Come on now. Can you guys do me a quick favor? Time out, pause. Can you guys hit the thumbs up button? <clears throat> We're at 103 likes. I think we should be at like 250. In fact, we're not starting the live stream again until we hit 250. Come on, take 10 seconds. I'm going to IG. If YouTube's not going to show some love, no, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Look at that. The numbers are going through the roof. Thank you guys for real. You guys got to support, man. We really appreciate that. Aeration and overseeding goals from mass turf aeration. That's a good one. Talking about getting customers. Uh, my goal is to do like twenty to thirty thousand dollars in new aeration and overseed work in the spring, and maybe another ten to twenty grand in the fall. Uh, 10,000 postcards are going out. <clears throat> we're really looking to uh, crush it with that. I got the Mo guys going out with Rob and a guy named Mark that we're hiring on. I'm taking the next truck, my other utility trailer, and the aerator, and I'm going to go aerate the world. All right. I want to buy that truck and pay it off in the first year. That's 65 grand, right? All right. Whatever. Whether they have 100 residential clients or one big commercial property, that's a great question. All right. You guys got to answer that real time down in the comments. Would you rather have one commercial property or 100 residential? I think it depends because if you lose the one commercial, you're out of business and you still have 100 residential customers, you lose 10%, you still have 90 and you still have a pretty strong income, obviously, right? 
Um, but in terms of managing headaches, I'll take the one commercial all day versus a hundred residential customers. I'll have my email, my cell phone number. <laughs> um, actually, uh, real talk, that's kind of what our business has been doing. We went from 120 customers to 100 to 90 to 80 to 70. I think we're like 75 residentials um, because we're able to expand horizontally and add more services instead of just adding more customers and just mowing only. Right. So I'd rather do $2,500 a year worth of work for a customer times 75 customers than $800 worth of work times 140 customers. Does that make sense? Um, and some people, they have 25, 30 customers and every customer spends five grand with them per year, right? It's the same amount of revenue, just less headaches, less phone calls, right? All right, 100 res, tons of opportunity for them and you can get more commercial if your quality is there and your work ethic is there. There you go, I like it. All right, uh, going back to YouTube here at the comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you for getting the likes up. We're at 164. Let's get to 200. Can you guys help me out? Family's doing good. Uh, Liz is in the other room. She's uh, watching uh, Emmy. Uh, she knows what I'm doing this, and uh, she's running shotgun over there. Uh, I got about another 15 minutes, and then it's bath time, and we're going to put baby down for the night. Uh, Liz is amazing. Uh, seriously, I wish I had her on more content. Uh, do you guys want to see her on more content in 2022? Because she's my rock, and she's literally the one that puts – all of this together. She keeps my head on a swivel. Okay. Uh, I couldn't do it without her. All right, guys. Um, what is your new minimum this year for your lawn care customers? Residential. All right. I love to hear that. Uh, IG, I'm with you. Um, if you're new to YouTube, welcome to the live stream. New live streams every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. They're sponsored by, you guys can see the logos here, Launchpreneur Academy. Uh, during the live stream night, from tonight through midnight, all uh, courses, all training programs, everything on the website is 10% off with promo code live stream. All right. So if you guys need contracts, rate increase letters, customer cancellation forms, postcards, how to start a long care business training program, they're all 10% off. Uh, the bundles are usually not on sale. The postcards are usually not on sale. The contracts are usually not on sale. All that stuff is 10% off. Uh, it's a great way to support the live stream and hopefully I can help you guys out growing your business. You guys can reciprocate if you want to buy them. If great, if not, no big deal. Uh, if so great, if not, no big deal. All right. What's our minimums? Uh, everybody say what your minimum is in the comments and everybody say, Hey Liz, we love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for letting Brian uh, go hard doing all the content for YouTube. Everybody say something nice for Liz. She's watching and uh, she's incredible. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all you guys. Fresh Lawn Service says, what's up, Liz? All right, Elite's Lawn Care, last year was 40, this year 50, all right? Our new minimum this year is 40 to 45. Uh, we're talking small, small subdivision lawns, but 40 is our new minimum. Uh, all of our rate increase letters and our lawn inquiry forms, they're all going out tomorrow. I'll have another YouTube video on that tomorrow. Blades LLC, 55, minimum Minnesota. Yeah, what's your minimum and where are you guys at? That way, we like just your state, that way we can kind of get some numbers here, see what everybody's doing. Matt Karens says, Brian, what's up? How we doing? Elite Lawn Care says, hey, Liz, thank you for the love. Send something nice for Liz, uh, Liz guys. She's on the live stream. You guys got to help me out here, right? Brownie points. <laughs> $35 minimum from Brian and Jake and Liz Rocks. I agree. Matt, what's up, brother? Thank you for the love. Liz, you're the bomb. Everybody's showing love for Liz. I really, really appreciate that, guys. You have no idea how much of this she coordinates, and she's able to watch Emmy while I do this and help serve you guys, all right? $45 for 4K lawns, uh, $4 in Ontario. So is that Canadian? Is that like 50 or is that, I don't know, is that more or less? $50 Australia for a postage stamp lawn, all right. Patriot Lawn Care, what's up, brother? We got uh, Rory in the, in the house. Northwest Georgia, $50 minimum, okay. $55 Central Illinois, $45 Raleigh, North Carolina, $40 minimum. 40s and 50s seem to be the new minimum. No more $25 lawn care, amen, amen to that. <laughs> All right, if you guys are watching on YouTube, there's 200 of y'all in here and only there's 180 watching and 178 likes. Help me out. If you guys haven't tapped the like button, uh, we really appreciate that. I'm sure it helps the algorithm somewhere, right? All right, uh, I'm going through the comments here. Let's look at all the minimums. Um, $40, we got 45 from James Mann. By the way, love Liz. Thanks, Phil. Uh, $40, 40s, 40s. How should you raise your prices? Uh, Brett, we have a, uh, Bretta landscape and we have a rate increase letter. Um, you don't need a letter. Here's a tip. You can just call your customer or email them or send it in your contract that your rates are increased. 
Either which way, just communicate. Don't just, hey, your last year's price was 40 and now it's 45. And then you send that first bill, April or May, for you know four cuts or six cuts if it's an awkward month. And they're like, whoa, 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 my last bill was 150. Now it's 170. What's going on? And you're like, oh yeah, we raised it $5 more per week. And then they're going to stiff you because you never communicated that, right? So communicate that, whether it's uh, via email or contract, communication is everything. Get an approval uh, and a paper trail, right? Get it on email or text at a minimum, but don't text, but get an email or get your contracts back, your loan agreements back, okay? And if you want to send a uh, agreement letter or contract with your rate increase letter in the same envelope, that's the way to do it. We just did that today, filled out about 75 of them. Everybody got their lawn inquiry form, which you can get for free, launchpreneuracademy.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Those are those service inquiry forms we send out. Everybody sends them back through the month of March. We build out our whole route for the year. It's incredible. Uh, in probably about 95% of those uh, inquiry forms that went out, uh, have a rate increase letter, right? So our 34s or 38s or 38s or 42s or 40s or 45s. Everybody went up about 12 to 15% this year. All right. Um, what's one service that I want to expand with? Well, here, I'll ask you guys the same question. What's one new service you guys are looking to get into and you think will be a good moneymaker for you? IG, I'm going to come to you first. What's one service you guys are uh, adding this year that you think will be a good moneymaker for you? We've got five minutes left, man. Participate. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And we got five minutes left. Help me get to over 200 likes. For crying out loud, 200 likes. You guys used to do 800 you know, likes a video, you know? but I don't know how live streams work. So what do I know? Uh, super grateful for all of you guys. All right. Uh, $40 Nebraska, 58 Phil DeMonte, $45 in Ann Arbor. Shout out to Ann Arbor. Uh, not a good day for basketball. <laughs> I was at B-dubs, saw that. Uh, $40 in Lewistown, Illinois, 30s and 40s. Lots of love for Liz. Appreciate you guys big time. All right. Uh, I ran my numbers wrong. That's why Cycle CPA does my books now. Hey, there you go. One more plug for Cycle CPA. If you guys need a bookkeeper, I'm telling you, Carla and her team are awesome. Go to your website, cyclecpa.com. Use promo code Brian, saves you 200 bucks uh, right off the rip towards uh, their services from getting your accounts in order to signing up for the new monthly fee to manage your books. All right, IG, you guys are getting involved in lighting and sod. What's some new services you guys are offering to increase your revenue and profitability? I'm coming back to you, IG. Leave me some more comments. And for YouTube, aerations, landscape lighting, artificial turf. I like that. Artificial turf. Where are you at, uh, Christopher Rice, Inc.? Where are you guys at for artificial turf? Uh, mulch. Mulch is a great way to expand revenue. Mulch is a great way to expand rev uh, revenue and profitability. It's like 40 50% margin on uh, all of our mulch installs. Sod installs. Everybody seems to be doing a lot of sod work. That seems really, really good. I owe a lot of that to Paul in his uh, Green Industry podcast. He talks about sod work all day long. What else are you guys doing to expand services and to make more money in 2022? I'm reading the comments here. IG over here for YouTube. YouTube over here for IG. All right, IG, uh, we got some more people doing lighting, sod, uh, increasing rates on the service you're already doing, power washing, soft washing, uh, landscaping irrigation. One thing I don't envy is landscaping irrigation. Uh, that is a very niche service, I guess, in the lawn and landscape world. Uh, a lot of moving parts. It seems just confusing to me and it seems almost like a, uh, chasing like your tail, right? Sometimes you get a leak or certain things aren't opening or closing. Everything's underground. How do you know where it's at? Uh, my hat is off to you guys that do uh, landscaping irrigation and lawn irrigation. Sods, power washing, getting a debris loader. There you go. Got to do a meetup in Grand Rapids. Maybe one day, if uh, Lauren Daigle comes back out there for a concert, we'll come back out and uh, that'll be a good time. All right, uh, power washing, screw sod. <laughs> one one side hates sod, one side likes sod, right? <laughs> you guys are awesome. Artificial turf, it'll kill the industry, somebody said, Walter Castro. <laughs> yeah, uh, charge a premium, man. Charge a 3X seasonal rate for that. That way, when that customer doesn't uh, renew, you're not out of business, right? Power washing, interlock restoration. Uh, <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Hey, thanks for the love on the likes. You guys got over 200. That is really, really cool. All right. Uh, irrigation is easy when you pay a helper to do it. <laughs> 
Christopher Rice is uh, today's honorary jokester on the live. And uh, that's really funny. All right, we've got three more minutes. If you guys got comments, leave them down below. Sincerely, thank you guys for all the love and support for the IG uh, live and then also for the YouTube live stream. We're going to be doing this every week. My goal is this year, 7 p.m. Eastern on Sundays. Promo code live stream saves 10% at launchpreneuracademy.com. Sincerely, thank you guys for the support, uh, for the contracts, the, the whole ball of wax, uh, new sale for that spring rush 10 through the month of March, save 10% on the whole ball of wax. If you guys think we make millions through YouTube, newsflash, we don't. Okay. Uh, it's a lot less than you guys would ever imagine. And so we have to diversify with affiliate links and all that mess to fund the hobby because cameras aren't cheap. Cell phone bills aren't cheap. Lighting is not cheap. And uh, we really appreciate the support sincerely. And Liz and I are also trying to buy a house and build a house this year. <laughs> so thank you sincerely for all the support. Sod is the devil. <laughs> Sod, yes or no? Give me, get, use of the emoji, Sod. Here's a question about Sod. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Marin's Long Care 7, the YouTube millions. <laughs> Look, if I get a Lambo from YouTube, from all those YouTube millions, I will give everybody a ride expo, straight up. Um, took me five years of scraping every penny we made from all of our social media to buy the Tesla for 100, all right? Um, thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm getting, oh, YouTube's lighting up. IG, don't leave me down or let me down. Uh, we have some thumbs up for sods on IG. I always answer the phone. Well, good for you. I like that. Uh, let's go, Brandon. I'm not sure who Brandon is. He seems to be coming up almost everywhere, right? You can always take your snow plows and use them for a bulldozer in the summer months. I like that. Diversification. <laughs> what do we use for health insurance? That might be a good question for another uh, IG. We use a Christian health share program called Samaritan Ministries. Liz and I are Christians, and it's a group share. Uh, it's about a third the price of traditional health care, and it's been working great for us for many, many years, um, including our birth of our daughter, which is an expensive um, process, um, and we weren't out of pocket, obviously, very much. Um, we have a... What do they call them? Super chats? I don't know how those work, but Brett, uh, Bretta, Betta, Betta Landscaping. I think I said Bretta earlier. I apologize. How do you track all your numbers in your lawn care business? QuickBooks and Yardbooks. Uh, we do not have them synced. Uh, we'll do maybe a whole nother uh, webinar or uh, Zoom or whatever. What are these things called? Uh, YouTube Live uh, on bookkeeping and uh, how we manage our QuickBooks and our CRM. I like that. I think a lot of people are struggling with that still, uh, but we use QuickBooks. Our bookkeeper uses... Um, all, it keeps all of our ducks in a row. Everything we have is digital from our credit cards to our payments. Our bookkeepers are phenomenal. Uh, if you need bookkeepers, Cycle CPA, I'm, I'm telling you, game changer. Don't be the shoebox at the end of the year guy where you just have a shoebox full of receipts. You take it to your CPA and he's like, I don't want to deal with this mess, okay? Trying to help you guys out. All right, thumbs up for Sods. A lot of thumbs up. A lot of down, thumbs down for Sod. All right, okay, okay. Great live. Do another one soon. Sunday. Sunday, we'll be there at 7. All right. Final questions. Rapid fire. If you guys got questions, I'm going to do these as fast as I can. IG, thank you for joining in. And uh, YouTube, one last thing. If you guys can do a big thumbs up for the video. All right. Uh, you guys are awesome, man. I'm reading the comments here. You guys literally cracked me up. Um, what's up? No more worries. How are you guys doing? Um, who is the one from Ann Arbor? I don't know. F7M Productions. Thanks for all the support. I see you liking and commenting on everything. All right. Uh, do I end my phone during the day? Do I answer my phone during the day or at end of day? Um, usually it's at the end of the day. Actually, I don't answer my phone. Now that I think about it out loud, I, I, I don't think I've answered my phone since 2017 when my number became public on the internet. Um, what I do though is between 5 and 6.30ish, get back with anybody who's left a voicemail. Actually, even before then, I will listen to the voicemails that I do get. And if it's a lawn inquiry, I will text that person back. I'm not a big texter, but I'll text them back. Hey, got your message. Uh, we, me and my guys are out working. I will give you a shout back uh, once we're done at 5.30. That way they stop calling people. And then from there, uh, I can give them a call back at 5 to 6.30. And that way I'm not paying my guys to sit around while I'm on the phone or myself because usually I'm working in the field, right? So I help you guys out. <clears throat> that's a good That's a good uh, hack. Text them back or, or whatnot, but don't call them back because you're going to get stuck on the phone for 10, 20 minutes. All right? All right, when will the coaching call be available? Uh, coaching calls are always available at launchpreneuracademy.com. Um, I love coaching calls. You guys are, we, we have, we get into it on coaching calls. All right, next week we're going to talk about all things equipment, uh, trailers, mowers, blowers, and there'll be a chance to win an, uh, a Red Max uh, EBZ 8560, which is a new one, over 250 miles per hour, 1,000 plus CFM. 
It's crazy. Uh, we had an actual one that they sent us. All right. Do I answer my phone on my mower? No, I do not. All right. Two more minutes. We're, we're, we're shutting it down. I started five minutes late, so we'll go five minutes extra, right? Use contracts with <laughs> – my wife is laughing. Everybody say thanks, Liz, for, for managing uh, Emmy because uh, we got to do bath time here. Uh, one more time, say thanks for Liz, all right? Uh, here we go. Uh, whatever's fun, residentials, <laughs> Rob for president. Rob is awesome. Rob has been holding the phone, dude, and holding the fort. Um, answer the phone with the blower running. <laughs> Don't do that. As an entrepreneur, what is good health insurance? Uh, we use uh, uh, Samaritan Ministries as a Christian group share program. Everybody say thanks to Liz. That's a probably a great way to end the live stream. I appreciate you guys big time. Uh, if you guys are joining in, launchpreneuracademy.com is the sponsor of our live streams on Sunday nights. 10% off of everything off the website, promo code live stream or live stream 10, <laughs> whatever it is. I need to, I should know my own code, right? Uh, set it up at like two minutes before we jumped on this thing, okay? Uh, if you guys need contracts, postcards, training programs, all that mess to help you guys grow for real sincere. It's the, it's the meat, it's the meat and potatoes of what we do and all that's available. Uh, thank you for the support for real. All right. Last couple questions, bullet round. Let's turn off the internet. He can't stop. You guys are awesome. All right. Uh, appreciate you guys joining on, uh, Phil DeMonte. You're the man, Daniel. Do I use contracts with residential customers? I don't, I don't personally, but I know a lot of guys do. We have them available at Entrepreneur Academy. Uh, I got them available because a lot of folks want them uh, for their customers. I've realized it's kind of 50-50. We're a pay-as-you-go service personally, so no contracts for our residential, uh, but not everybody's like that. Walter Castro, thanks for the live stream. Thanks, Liz. $2 live stream. Uh, what are those called? Super Chats? I, I, I This is the first live stream I've done probably in two years, three years. I know how to do these, so did I do a good job? I don't know. Let me know. Appreciate you guys big time. All right, last two questions. I'm picking two last ones. All right, here we go. How do I schedule a coaching call? Uh, go to launchpreneuracademy.com. If you purchase one, I get an email, you get an email. We can link up from there. And hey, Brian, how do I get more professional when texting and getting my previous customer's degree on a weekly or biweekly service? Number one, don't text your customers. Almost about anything ever. Unless it's a, hey, we're coming tomorrow because of the rain. Um, or, hey, notice something on your lawn. Can you give me a call when you have a free minute? Okay, that's the only reason you should be texting your customers, in my humble opinion. Everything else, your professional company, professionally communicate via email, okay, or a phone call. Um, and to answer the bi weekly question, we just don't offer it. I have a YouTube video answering the bi weekly question is the name of it. It's got like 200,000 views uh, for us personally. And I know it might not be a super popular opinion, uh, but we don't do any bi weekly. Unless you're in South Florida, where you can mow bi-weekly in January and February. My opinion, just from the, the lay of the land, unless you've got huge rural properties that burn out in the summer, I don't think anybody should be offering bi-weekly service ever. All right, that's it, guys. I'm shutting it down. Uh, everybody said no bi-weekly. No bi-weeklies in the comments so far is what I'm reading. We're going to shut it down here. Net 15 or net 30 for commercial. Always net 30 if you can get that. Um, I'll take net 15, but everybody's net 30. Don't let it go after net 30. All right, IG, thank you guys so much. You guys are great. Uh, I'm going to post this here to uh, the YouTube or the uh, IG feed so you guys can watch this. Um, double tap heart, whatever you guys do. Thank you so much. I'm trying to smile more on the live stream. I'm always like intense. We're talking business. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We'll answer more questions. Can't answer them all on one live stream. 7 p.m. next week, Sunday, uh, Eastern time. We're going to talk about all things mowers, equipment, trailers, blowers, whatever you guys have. Uh, mower sizes, different engine types, whatever I can do to help you guys grow. Uh, and then we're also going to give away a Red Max EBZ 8560. Okay, they sent me two. They actually, they sent me one, or they wanted to send me one. It's to test out their new leaf blower. And you guys know the rule. Anything I get from YouTube, we tell them we want two. That way we can get one to you guys. Because if I got something, who cares? We want to make sure that you guys get something out of it too, because we're not in it for free equipment, okay? Uh, so any which way, I'm really excited about giving that away to one lucky fan next year, or <laughs> next year, next week. <laughs> it's a $600 leaf blower. That's gonna really uh, help somebody grow their business big time uh, with spring leaf cleanups coming around the corner. All right, guys, last quick second. Uh, if you guys want to smash the thumbs up, did you guys enjoy this? I appreciate uh, you guys jumping on, every single one of you. Uh, Cycle CPA, if you guys need a good bookkeeper, mention Brian, they'll take care of you. 
I think every time I mention this or uh, drink a cup, they pay me 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea. We um, we do not get paid what you all think. Uh, but the rumors, man, they, they grow legs. Apparently, I make between a half million and two million on my YouTube channel. But I think I'm a couple hundred, uh, a couple zero short. <laughs> all right. You guys are awesome. Trent, Almond Savior. If you guys want a quick shout out, leave a comment. Fourth Gear. Almond Savory, Walter Castro, Bryce O, uh, Joseph Ireland, Matthew Hoover, Paul Wright, Lawn Mowing Journey. You guys are awesome. And last up on IGCK Lawn Landscape, have a great night. Night Landscaping, Alex, Gonzalez, Colin Faber, all you guys. Connor, Justin, but, uh, the comments are going crazy. I can't read that fast. We the lawn care people. You guys are all awesome. All right. Over now, guys. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the support at LawnEntrepreneurAcademy.com. Uh, promo code live stream or live stream 10. That's good through tonight, midnight. So if you need contracts or any of that other uh, fun stuff to help you grow your business, get it tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't email me tomorrow saying I missed it or I forgot. Tonight is when the live stream uh, code ends. So if you want to get something on launchpreneuracademy.com, check it out. Thank you so much. Also, Brian's 10 and Cujo, Equipment Defender, Ballard Inc., Rhino, um, Hitch, uh, and so much more. Check our YouTube descriptions out. And thank you guys for the support. Whatever I can do to help you guys grow in 2022, that's the idea. All right. You guys are awesome. Over and out. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. All right. Bye, IG.